Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made this mixed media raven piece. I am using an 8x8 cradled wooden panel and first I went ahead and gessoed the whole thing because the ones that I use I get them just as raw wood. I like to gesso them myself. I also like to have the option to not if I want to. So first I covered the entire canvas in some burnt umber acrylic paint and then I went ahead with some spray adhesive for metal leaf and sprayed all over the panel. I'm doing this because I want to apply this copper foil everywhere, but I want to get the modeled effect of the spray rather than just painting a thick layer on and having the whole entire piece completely coated in the copper. I want some of the darkness of the paint to show through. That's going to be the dark portion of the background of my piece. Here I'm just using a stiff bristled brush to brush away any of the excess foil that's sitting on the surface. This ensures that only the foil that is actually adhered to the surface is sticking down. And I'm gonna do that because the next step I do is going to be applying more paint and I don't want any of the loose flakes coming off in the acrylic paint. So I'm just making sure here that all of the surfaces that I want covered are covered with the foil and once it's the way I want it, I can go ahead with the paint. So I'm just mixing a few colors that I chose. Um, I really like the looks of the turquoise and teal family with copper and the dark brown. So I have a little bit of teal, a little bit of turquoise, and some titanium white to make sure that I have everything there to mix the colors that I might want to mix for this piece. I'm just starting to lay down some color on top of the foil just kind of going in with whatever I think would look good at the moment. I'm also using a dry paper towel and a wet paper towel to clean off any excess paint because sometimes a little more gets covered than I want it to and because I'm using the foil, it wipes off really nicely. Once the first round of paint is down, I decided to go in with one of my favorite stencils that I made, and I'm just going to go in and mix a little bit of the burnt umber with a little bit of matte gel medium. What that's going to do is lessen the intensity of the color. I'm also mixing some of the gel medium with some Payne's Gray, because I want to get a little bit of both of those colors on the canvas, but I want them to be very transparent and barely visible. If I wouldn't mix those and tone them down a little bit, they're just going to be extremely obvious sitting right there on the top of the canvas. And that's not the look that I'm going for. I'm kind of going for a subtle background feel.
after I got the stenciling done, I decided to go in with a little bit of the darker teal straight out of the tube just to add another dimension and layer of color. Then after I looked at it, I decided that I did want a little more foil on it. So I went and resprayed certain areas and laid down a little bit more. And I know it looks right here like the whole thing is going to be completely covered up, but I promise it's not because I only sprayed a little bit of the adhesive down. So once I take that brush and brush the excess foil off, you're going to see what I'm left with right here. You can see that some of the stenciling and some of the paintwork that I did is showing through underneath the copper, and that's really kind of what I wanted. I wanted more copper to be there than paint, and before there just wasn't quite enough, so that's why I went ahead and added a little bit more. Now I'm actually going in with the sharp edge of a card and carving into the copper. This is a line pattern that I use in most of my pieces. If you've seen any of my other videos, really, you will see this line quality, and it's kind of how I denote my work. So I went ahead and carved in with the card, and then you'll see later in the video that I go in with a micron pen, which is just a very fine-tipped pen, and I go over some of those lines and I create some new ones, and carrying that through really brings some continuity to the piece. So if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I really love birds and I love putting birds into my paintings. So my plan for this the whole time was to make an abstract raven. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm going in just with a pet regular pencil and sketching out a rough abstract raven drawing. And then I'm going over it again with my Posca pen, which is an acrylic paint marker. And I'm just doing that so that I can see it a little easier for when I go in with the acrylic paint. And then you're going to see what happens next. Keep watching. Once I got the raven down, it felt a little too dark, so I wanted to go back in and add just a little bit more of the foil on top, kind of so he fades into the background a little bit and kind of has a dripping, washed out look. You'll see what I mean here in a minute. So right now what I'm doing is applying a little bit of the liquid um, foil adhesive and once we let that dry, I can lay the foil down on top of that. It's going to cover everything just like the spray did. And um, once I get this down, you'll see while I'm waiting for it to dry, I go back in with my Micron pen and add some of those details that I was talking about before with the same line quality as I got by carving into the foil with my card.
working intuitively definitely gives a little bit of room for, I will say error, although that's not really what I mean because I don't look at any of this as an error. I like to make decisions on the fly and sometimes those decisions don't always work out the way that I want them to. And it's really important to understand that you can go in and fix and rework as much as possible, as much as you need to, to make the piece what you want it to be and to more closely fit the idea that you either had in your head or something that is more along the lines with your style or what you want it to be. There are no rules. You can go in as many times as you need to to fix up a piece to make it what you want. So in this next step here, I'm just going to go in and add the rest of the foil that I felt was missing from the initial part. And it's going to really brighten everything up. It's going to push the bird a little back further into the background, which is exactly what I wanted. So he's not just standing there right on top of the canvas. He's more of an integral part of the whole entire piece. This really changed it up into what I wanted it to be, but it still wasn't 100% right. So off camera, I did go in a little bit with my Posca pen and redefine some of the areas so that you could really tell that what you were looking at was a bird. And I'm going to show you the finished piece here in just a moment. So here he is all finished. This is my Raven and I'll tell you, I'm really happy with him. I love the colors together. I love the subject matter. It's exactly what I wanted it to be and I couldn't be happier with it. So I hope you all enjoyed watching me make this piece. I love working in the mixed media with you all. And if anyone has questions on any of my procedures or techniques at all, please drop them in the comments. Thank you guys so much for showing up every time and watching my work and if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, please do. It really helps out my channel. Give me a like if you like what you saw. And this guy will be available in my Etsy store along with many other pieces. Thanks so much, and you all have a wonderful day.